Welcome to this instructional video demonstrating how to repair a radius fracture. We begin with an incision on the palmar side of the forearm. We use tissue scissors and an electrocautery knife for our dissection through the subcutaneous layers. The electrocautery knife cuts through tissue while also cauterizing blood vessels so that we can minimize bleeding during the procedure. Once down to muscle, we use a scalpel to incise the fascia layer sitting atop the muscle body. This allows for us to be able to retract and move the forearm muscle bodies out of the way to expose the fractured bones. We use the electrocautery knife and elevator tool to clear away debris and free up tissue around the fractured ends of the bone to allow us to mobilize the bone and reduce it to its anatomic position. Now that the fracture is aligned, we use a bone clamp to secure the positioning and drill to place a lag screw to hold the fractured pieces together. The purpose of the lag screw is to provide compression forces to the bone ends for direct bone healing. A tool called a countersink is used so that the screw will sit against the bone edge without prominence. We use a depth gauge to measure the length of the drilled hole in the bone and place the appropriately sized screw. With the fracture provisionally secured, we can remove the bone clamp and bring the C-arm in for x-ray imaging to assess the bone alignment. With an acceptable reduction of the bone, we can now span the fracture with the plate and screws.
The purpose of the plate is to neutralize shearing and rotational forces that the lag screw cannot address. Together, the screws and plate create a robust healing construct. Directly through pre-engineered holes in the plate, we drill through both cortices of the bone and then use a depth gauge to measure the length of the bone. As before, we can then insert the appropriately sized screw for fixation. This process of drilling, measuring, and screw driving is repeated until adequate fixation is obtained throughout the length of the plate. Once all hardware is implanted, we use the C-arm again to verify proper alignment of the radius fracture. If the fixation and alignment is adequate, we use a sterile saline solution to wash out debris to reduce risks of infection. We close the incision using a dissolvable suture to approximate the deeper tissues. Once this deep layer is closed, we use a non-absorbable nylon stitch on the superficial layer to conclude the radius fracture surgery.